Today, Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin and a local rabbi are just two of a large contingency of local leaders and religious leaders that are heading to the U.S.-Mexico border to get a first-hand look at President Trump's zero-tolerance policy and the impact it is having on migrating children and their families. Earlier today, we spoke with Rabbi Johanna Kinberg as she prepares to head out to the border herself. She says she can no longer sit by and just pray for these children and instead felt a calling to go down to the border and witness and be there in person for the kids. Her plan is to travel today and then get right to work before heading back Friday morning in time to report back to her congregation about what she's seen. I asked her about what her goals and expectations are for when she gets there. And we're hoping that we will all be able to get into the detention center to witness what is happening inside, to meet the children, um, to offer our love, support, compassion, and prayers to everyone who is there. Also making the trip is Mayor Jenny Durkin. She's headed to the border on her own dime to meet with other mayors at the border in hopes of getting into one of the camps to see how the process of separating families is happening. She says she is not just an American, but a mother as well. And we have an obligation, I think, to raise our collective voices to speak against injustice. And I'm so proud to be going with mayors, leaders of faith to the border to say America is better than this. We also asked Durkin about how she could leave Seattle at a time we're dealing with our homelessness issues and more. She says there's not a day that goes by that she isn't thinking about Seattle. They're planning to add 500 shelter beds here soon. But she also believes that Seattle, as a collective voice, would stand up and say that this is not okay in regards to the immigration issue. Tony Black. King 5 News.